Today I'm going to be brewing the New Zealand uh, Brewers Series Golden Ale from Mangrove Jacks. Uh, it says on the box here, brew a clear golden ale with subtle malt and fruit undertones, finished with a pleasing bitterness. Um, I've made quite a few of these kits, um, New Zealand Brewers Series. They're kind of like the budget end of Mangrove Jacks kits, but don't be put off by the price. They're really excellent kits. Um, it's just a they're a kind of bog standard kit. They've got 1.7 kilos of malt extract in here. Uh, you get a sachet of yeast and that's it. There's no whistles, no bells. But I'm sure it's the same quality malt extract that they use in their uh, more fancy kits. Um, I've made pretty much all of these kits, apart from this one, this golden ale. So I'm really keen to see how this one turns out. Um, this kit actually came with a kilo of brewing sugar, just normal dextrose, um, which will be fine. You can put this and this together, chuck the yeast in, and you're going to get a, you know, an okay brew. Um, personally, I think it's worth the extra few quid just um, kind of swapping this out for either a brew enhancer, or my preference would be um, a kilo of malt extract. You can use the liquid stuff that um, the uh, Mangrove Jacks, I think they call it a liquid brew enhancer. Um, or uh, you know, just a, a tin of uh, liquid malt. But uh, so I'm going to do away with this. I'm not going to be using that. Instead, I'm going to be using um, a kilo of wheat dried malt extract. So you can use just standard light malt extract or brewing heart or whatever you want to do. Um, I recently accidentally ordered a kilo of this, um, and uh, after searching the internet, I found a recipe called Marilyn's Secret, which was on the Cooper's brewing site did it with another one of these kits, it was the, uh, the Pale Ale, and it turned out really fantastic. Um, it was the first time I'd used wheat dried malt extract, um, and I really enjoyed the beer. So I'm gonna do it again, um, apart from I'm keeping things really simple this time, I'm literally just gonna be adding the malt extract to the kit. Um, I am going to be not using the kit yeast. Um, it, the kit comes with seven grams of, it just says ale yeast on here. I'm going to upgrade to um, this Kiwi Pale Yeast, which I've got yeast from um, across my loof. Uh, I think it was about two quid. It says on the pack, uh, suitable to brew Pale Ale and a good hop with a good hop profile. So um, good quality yeast is going to make a world of difference um, to your brew and it adds you know, a few pence to it. Spread that across 40 pints, it's, it's, it's nothing. So well worth spending the extra couple of quid on getting a decent yeast. So I'm just going to brew that up, I'm going to you know, put this in hot water, top it up with cold water, um, let it brew for probably about 10 days, and then I'm actually going to dry hop it. So I managed to get my hands on some, uh, some hop pellets, um, this case um, Motueka and Taihiki, I think that's how it's pronounced. So uh, Motueka is one of my favourite hops, it sort of imparts this lovely citrusy lemon and lime flavour. I've never used the uh, Taihiki. Uh, but it says on here, uh, aroma profile, light lychees, floral grapefruit. Okay, so I think that's going to really tie in with this sort of uh, fruit undertones as it says on the box. So um, that's what I'm going to be doing, just brewing it standard, really easy, dry hop for a couple of days towards the end of fermentation. I'm going to bottle it up. So um, without further ado, I'm going to get cracking. Right, we're back on day eight. Um, I've just taken a hydrometer reading from here and it's down to 1012 so I doubt it's going to get anything uh, much lower than that um, with a kilo of uh, wheat malt in the kit so it's probably going to finish around that sort of uh, gravity I would imagine. Um, having said that, now I've lifted it onto the table it's starting to bubble again, it had stopped um, bubbling altogether but um, what I'm going to do is Add my dry hops now and leave it for a, another couple of days. Um, I have changed my mind sort of slightly in that um, I'm going to be using um, the Waiiti hops and the Tai Hiki. Um, so apologies to the nation of New Zealand for my pronunciation there, but um, they're both New Zealand hops. Um, I get these from Cross My Loaf, they come in a little bag, um, but actually, I'm going to um, drop them directly into my brew so i'm going to do that through this little hole in the top here so i don't disturb um, the actual seal on this lid um, so i'm going to pop them out and try and get them through that little hole i'm going to attempt this one-handed um, and we'll see how it goes 
I'm basically trying to get the hops from my bag directly into my brew. So easier said than done with one hand, so I'm going to probably uh, see how I go. Oops, all right, all right, two hands required, so I can't film this. Welcome back. Um, so you might notice there's no bottle here. Uh, this uh, particular beer, I think I might have overcarved, and um, the wheat malt, I think, also causes a bit of a, a head issue. So um, once you pour it, you kind of get this huge foamy head out the top of the glass, which then collapses down on itself after a couple of minutes. So kind of spared you that bit of boredom. Um, so I've cut to the beer. Um, this, as you know, is the Mangrove Jack's New Zealand series, New Zealand Brewer series, Golden Ale. Uh, which is supposed to be light, refreshing and floral uh, with a malty backbone, I think the kit says. Um, and um, I've used, instead of the standard light dried malt extract, I've used the uh, wheat dried malt extract. Um, so I've done that a couple of times with the kit. So I actually ordered wheat malt extract by accident one time um, and I used it in a, in a brew, in fact a Mangrove Jack's Pale Ale, um, and it turns out fantastic. Um, so I thought I'd give it a try uh, with this golden ale um, and it has turned out fantastic again. Um, if you haven't used the wheat malt before then I would say give it a try. Um, it produces this real silky smooth beer. Um, it's got a sort of a, a bit more body and a lot more mouthfeel than you'd get from a standard pale ale or golden ale. It really adds some body to the beer. Um, you get this wonderful head here. It's not sort of a tight, close, compact head. It's a real sort of foamy head that sort of dissipates as you get through the glass. But um, you can see I'm halfway through it. Still a nice head on that beer, and that's. And I haven't used any heading liquid in this, by the way. Um, yeah, so that's how it turns out. Um, the hops I used were New Zealand hops. I was keen to kind of tie into this New Zealand golden ale theme, so I've used. Uh, the New Zealand YET and Tahiki hops, um, which have added the most amazing aroma to it. I've never used those hops before, but it's got this real strong sort of berry, fruit, citrusy, oh, it's just an explosion of flavors coming out and aromas coming out of the glass. Um, really, really nice. Um, and it was only 25 grams of each as a dry hop in that as well. Um, and it is really sort of complemented uh, the, the sort of floral, uh, the hoppage that was already in the kit. Um, so um, I think that's worked really well. Um, you know, I'm really pleased with this beer. Um, and I've given a few out to a couple of friends as well. And they've, um, well, first of all, they sort of said, I've, I've never really tried a beer like that before. Um, and they were really, really complimentary about um, the beer itself and the taste and the hops and everything. So um, good feedback from uh, friends. Uh, I don't know whether they're just expecting some more free beer off me or not. I don't know, or blowing smoke up my bum or whatever, but um, they all said it was good. Um, I would strongly recommend, if you've not used wheat malt before, give it a go in one of the kits. Pale Ale or Golden Ale, seem, well, the Golden Ale's worked. I've used it in Pale Ale, so you know, if you're gonna try it, maybe try one of those first. Give it a go, add some dry hops, and you're gonna end up with a lovely beer. Um, as I've said before, these Mangrove Jack um, Brewer Series kits, sort of budget end, but don't be put off by the, the price. They are really good quality kits. Um, they make, you know, you can get an exceptional beer um, out of them. I would, uh, if this, you know, I've used the um, Cross My Loof New Zealand Parallel yeast, I think, instead of the kit yeast. If you're gonna get one, I would recommend upgrading the yeast. Chuck in some dry hops, get a great beer. So yeah, it's definitely a thumbs up for me. Give it a try if you're looking for something a little bit different. Cheers.